quick recap on rounding. There's three major ways that people round numbers. Inside of school, typically you're asked to round to the nearest something. Outside of school, depending on the application, typically people will always round up or always round down, which rounding down sometimes confuses, the word down sometimes confuses people. You could also think of it as drop rounding, okay? So we have nearest, up, or drop. So I'm going to start with this because this is really just a combination of the other two. If, for example, I say I want to round square root of 7 to the nearest whole number. Whole number is here. If I'm going to the nearest, I need to look at my next spot. So 2.6. This number, if it's 5 or larger, right, indicating 1 half or larger, then I round up. I take my 2 and I say this is this is about three, All right? Two and a half or two and more than a half is about three. If this digit is four or lower, so for example over here, 4.2, right? The two is lower than five. I round down, which doesn't mean that I, this number goes down. It just means that I drop the digits after it. 4.2 is about 4. Right? That is most of the time what your science teachers and math teachers are going to ask you to do when they say to round something. Look at the next digit. Right? Now, you also have to pay attention, though, to what place they're asking you to round. If I ask you to round to the hundredths place, that's the second digit after a decimal point. So, again, if you're going to the nearest hundredth, you have to look one digit past the hundredths place. This is a five. That means we're going to round up 2.6. This is the digit that, that we care about. That's the digit that rounds up, 2.65. If I was to round to the nearest hundredth place, 4.24, the next digit is a 2. That's less than 5, so I'm going to round down, or I'm going to drop. I'm going to drop all the digits after the hundredth place. Okay, that's rounding to the nearest whatever you're asked for. Rounding down is the easiest style. It's actually the most natural style. It's the style that you you guys use a lot without even thinking. All right, round down just means drop the digits you don't want. So if I said I'm going to round this one down to the thousandth place, it means I want my third digit after the decimal point. 2.645, done. I don't even look at anything that comes after it. I drop that, right? That's, that's drop rounding or rounding down. Same thing here. If I'm rounding to the thousandth place, that's my third digit, 4.424, 4 done. Right? If I was rounding to the nearest whole number, my bad. If I was rounding down to the whole number, then the whole number that I see is 2. This is approximately 2. The whole number that I see is 4. That's approximately 4. That's rounding down. You just drop all of the values after the one you care about. Okay, rounding up is going to mean that no matter what follows the digit you care about, you increase the digit you care about by 1. So if I say round up to the tenths place, this is 2.6 and some stuff, I'm going to write 2.7. It's rounding up. 
any fraction that follows the digit I care about, we count as one more of that digit. Round up to the tenths place, 4.3. Right? The digit I care about increases by one no matter what follows it. If I say round to the, round up to the whole, that's three, that's five. This is, the, this is what I asked you to do when you were setting up axes to make sure that you could fit all your numbers if you divided your range by how many lines you have on your axes. That will tell you what to count by. If you count by something too small, you're not going to be able to fit all your data. You can guarantee that you won't count by something too small if you round up to the next whole number. All right, round it to the nearest, check the next digit, up or down, depending if it's above five or below five, at or above five, up, below five, down. Rounding up, whatever digit you care about increases by one. Rounding down is dropping all the digits that you don't care about. Not making any changes, just dropping. The only other thing that you have to be aware of is if you're asked to reach a certain level of precision and you, you don't have that decimal position. So you're asked round to the hundredth place or you're asked to answer precisely to the hundredths place, and you have no digits, you, you can always put zeros in. If you are indicating precision, a certain level of precision, this comes up more in science than math, then you need to keep the extra zeros up to the place that that you're told to round to or you're told to be precise to.